you say to a veteran to thank them for what they have done? Of course, you can always say, thank you for your service. Each veteran has his or her own unique history and experiences, thoughts, and feelings. So, there isn't any one thing that's just right. So as we approach this year's Veterans Day, when you see a veteran, you can just say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, veterans. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you to our veterans from the Baldwin County Virtual School. Welcome to the Pelican News Network. We are the media team for the Baldwin County Virtual School. We cover school events, student spotlights, and so much more. Be sure to tune in weekly for the most up-to-date information about the happenings on our campus. There are three ways to tune in. Right here on our YouTube channel, the Baldwin County Virtual School webpage, and on campus streaming. Here's what's coming up this week. It is so hard to believe that the holidays are quickly approaching at Baldwin County Virtual School. Here are a couple of dates and events to keep in mind as the holiday season approaches. With Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, we know that everyone is very excited. But please don't let this excitement distract you from your schoolwork. The deadline for all quarter two work is December 11th at 11.59 p.m. This also marks the end of the first semester. Make sure to get all of your work done before you celebrate the holidays. Attention students, on November 17th, your history teachers have planned a field trip to the Mobile International Festival to sample delicious food, learn geography, history, art, music, science, and more. This year's celebration features over 70 countries from all around the world, all under one roof, so you definitely do not want to miss out. Seats are still available, but they are limited. To reserve your seat, contact your history or government or economics teacher to get the link to pay and your field trip form. Once seats are gone, they are all gone. BCVS will be hosting Friendsgiving on November 14th from 11.30 to 1 p.m. Join us for food, games, and of course, friends. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Strickland or Ms. Weathercomb for more information. Whether homemade or store-bought, we ask that each person sign up to bring a prepared dish. Scan the QR code on the screen if you're planning to come and bring a dish. We can't wait to see you there. On Thursday, November 16th, the Senior Advisory Board invites the Class of 2024 to deck the halls. Wear your PJs and join the senior class to decorate the Daphne campus for the holiday season. We will also play a game of Dirty Santa, eat snacks, watch a movie, and kick off a new BCBS tradition. We hope to see you there. SGA will be hosting Toys for Tots November 1st through December 7th. Presents should be new and unwrapped. Stay tuned for more information. Hi, I'm Megan and I'm here with Madeline. Today we're doing Student Spotlight and we're going to be talking about your artwork. So what are you guys working on in Art Club? We're working on grids and proportions. So how long have you been doing art for? I've been doing art for as long as I can remember. So what kind of art do you like to do? I like surrealism, I like drawing people, and I usually do digital art or acrylic paint on canvas. That's so cool. Thanks, bye. Bye. Each week, the Pelican News Network wants to spotlight the things our students are doing both on and off campus. Are you doing something worth bragging about? Contact Ms. Payne and submit your entry. Maybe you'll be featured on the next Student Spotlight. Student Lighthouse members will be on campus to help students stay caught up with their coursework. Students can come in person or join a Google Meet that will be linked in your Counselor Connection group. Please remember, this is not tutoring. It's for general help like navigating Schoology or creating a weekly schedule. This week, Student Lighthouse members will be available on Wednesday, November 8th from 1 to 2 p.m. Check your Counselor Connection group for more weekly updates. The in-person learning labs are continuing to be held every Thursday for students to be able to get one-on-one -on -one help with their coursework, including history, math, English, and science. These sessions are designed to provide students with assistance and one-on-one -on -one support. So if you need face-to-face -face help, come on down to one of our campuses and get help. Welcome to Club Hub. 
In this segment, we'll be talking about all things clubs. So buckle up and let's get ready for this week. Attention students, the BCVS Scholarsville team needs you. Scholarsville is essentially Jeopardy for high schoolers. If you're knowledgeable in things like math, English, music, art, video games, pop culture, sports, or stuff, you'd be a great player in Scholarsville. Practice is once a week as a prerequisite for competing against other schools in the county. Some colleges even give scholarships, so join today. If you're interested, please email Mr. McKenzie. Last week, the Environmental Science Club hosted a campus cleanup where they collected trash around campus in the BCVS Bird Feeder Project. If you're interested in participating in activities like this, please contact Mr. Aikens for more information. We are the Pelican Players. We are the Drama Club at Baldwin County Virtual School. This is the cast of Peter Pan. Hey everyone, um, my name is Avery and I'm the student director for our play Peter Pan. Uh, the show is going to be taking place here at the Daphne campus at 5.30 and 7. Um, I really hope you can come to the play because it's been so much fun being able to direct it and the cast has been so good. Hello, I'm Hayden. I play Toodles. Peter Pan is the story of Peter Pan, Wendy, and the Lost Boys and their adventures in Neverland. Hello, my name is Rachel and I play Wendy Darling. And I think my favorite part of Peter Pan is the final battle between Peter Pan and Hook. Hi, I'm Will. Uh, I play Smee. My favorite scene is also uh, the final battle between uh, Pan and Hook. It's What are they? They are aliens. Our spring musical is Madagascar. It is about four animals who get stranded on an island. Auditions will be next semester, and it's open to everybody, so stay tuned for the date. It'll be fun. It's okay if you don't want to be on stage while participating in Pelican Players. You can always join our backstage crew. We paint a lot of props and do a lot of costumes for the characters in the play. You have one last opportunity on November 14th to go with Miss Davis for a visit to the Pelican's Nest to engage in an exploration at the bay. Check your class announcements and assignments for more information and the Pelican's Nest field trip survey. Be sure to tune in next week. Bye! Bye.